first of five police investigate after a horse is found dead lying in a pool of blood near Pine and Yale. The horse's owner believes he thinks somebody shot the horse, but investigators say they're not sure yet what injured it. News on Six's Aaron Conrad is on the scene for us tonight. Aaron. Well, Craig and Lori, before we start, I want to warn some of the viewers at home. They may find some video in this story disturbing. But if you take a look behind me, the blood from the horse trails all the way back here behind these buildings, goes all along this driveway, all the way down to the street you see there. That's Tecumseh. The horse then walked another about 100 yards before dying there in the street. City of Tulsa crews removed the body of a horse from this stretch of Tecumseh near Pine and Yale. The horse was found late Sunday night dying in the street. Blood everywhere. I mean, it was, and there's still blood all over the street. Darren Neal lives across the street from where the horse was found. He says he walked outside and saw a driver stopped in the street with a horse. He said the horse stomping was stomping and he calmed her down and got her to lay down in the street. Neil says he was there when the horse took her last breath and waited for police to arrive. Maybe 10 minutes after that, they showed up. Bobby Foreman, the man who claims to own the horse, lives here at this pallet yard just a few doors down. I'm mad. I'm angry. He claims he tied the horse up Sunday night and went to bed and woke up to find the horse gone. He says he went looking for her with a friend who told him this. He said, have you heard the news? I was like, what news? Neil says some people in the neighborhood think the horse was shot, but Neil says he never heard anything. So did you hear any shots, anything? Not a shot one. It's kind of strange. Neil says whoever did kill the horse needs to be caught. Who around here do that? It's kind of scary. We don't trust the neighborhood no more. Well, right now, police do tell us they are investigating. We're also told by the city of Tulsa that city waste crews came and picked up the dead horse. For now, we're live on the scene on the story in Tulsa. Aaron Conrad, News on 6.